Several counties in Tennessee are out of line with the state's financial requirements. Good evening. Thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 5. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. In our area, the Tennessee Controller's Office of the Treasury annual audit shows persistent issues in Grundy County. Today, News Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell learned the majority of them were detailed in the previous year's audit and were never corrected. Kelsey. Latricia Calvin, in the nearly 200 page report, the state found 14 violations within Grundy County's local government. Ten of the findings were found in the previous year's audit. With new leadership in office, citizens are hopeful Grundy County will soon be within state guidelines. A new audit report from the Tennessee Controller of the Treasury shows Grundy County government needs to fix numerous problems. No money was missing, which was the case in other areas of the state. However, for the second year in a row, the Highway Superintendent's Office and the Director of Schools Office, among other departments, were the source of several issues. For example, not following proper policies and poor record keeping. The state controller says Grundy County has serious issues that need to be corrected. For two years in a row, we've raised concerns. It's beyond time to address the deficiencies that put taxpayer dollars at risk. The controller's office collected information through June 30th of this year. September 1st, a new mayor was elected into office to remedy these pre-existing problems. Mayor Michael Brady tells us getting Grundy County in line is his priority. Whenever they elect you to be their county mayor, they put their trust in you, and you don't want to lose that. And so we need to be good stewards with the county's finances, and I believe this is uh, an opportunity for the mayor's office to step up and uh, show the people that we're going to be good stewards with their money. Taxpayers we spoke with are hopeful new leadership will correct financial woes. I think the county has wasted a lot of money on things that shouldn't have been wasted on. But like I say, I think things are going to change now. Because I have been to a lot of the meetings, commissioner meetings and stuff, and um, I really, I've seen, you know, I've shook my head at things, okay? But once one person can't change it. But I, I have a lot of confidence in Michael Brady. I think he's going to do a good job. The controller's office says they do not issue fines if the county doesn't comply with their audit. We're told without these changes, the possibility of fraud, waste, and abuse of taxpayer dollars is increased. Calvin. Thanks, Kelsey. Turns out Grundy County is not the only Southeast Tennessee county that has the state controller's office reporting financial problems that have been found. A check of the controller's office for the latest audit in Marion County shows some credit card transactions in the Office of Director of Schools were not documented. In Sequatchie County, there were credit card problems in the County Executive's Office that were documented from the previous year that carried over to the latest year. In Bledsoe County, we have reported on the problems with the water loss in Pikeville, but also the Controller's Office says some employees in the County Road Department purchased county fuel for their own vehicles. In Bradley County, several departments violated the county's credit card policy with one employee purchasing personal items with county funds. And in this special investigation just revealed last week, the controller's office reports that financial department employees in Meigs County received unauthorized compensation to the tune of $26,604. And the county school department made a purchase from a business owned by a school employee creating a conflict of interest. All of this information and more is available at the Tennessee Controller's website at tn.gov.